Hi, welcome to episode 40 of the Woodwind Doubling Channel. Why do I have a guitar in my hands? Well, I have a gig tonight with the Orange Devils, and I'm actually uh, fronting the band tonight, subbing for my friend Martin. He's uh, taking the night off for Passover. So I said, well, I'll, uh, I'll step in and uh, do that. It's going to be fun because I get to hear somebody else play my saxophone parts, and I get to play Martin's guitar parts and uh, call the tunes that I want. And uh, who knows, I might even be coerced into singing one of the tunes that he normally does. Now. I occasionally get people asking if it's worthwhile having some other kind of uh, instrumental double. Uh, now, some people have asked about brass instruments. That doesn't really mesh up with woodwind instruments. But having a uh, double on either keyboards or guitar can be quite useful. So, uh, it, if you're, especially if you're playing pop things where you might be playing uh, some solos on saxophone and flute and then uh, playing, say, rhythm guitar the rest of the time with the band or playing keys with a band. I have a couple friends who do some uh, tribute acts and classic albums, live things, and they do these doubles. They, uh, they, one of them plays woodwinds as well as guitar and keyboards and has been quite busy doing that. And uh, another one actually, I believe, plays uh, woodwinds and keys on some of the classic albums live shows. So uh, I'm going to make this into a gig rig setup as well. Uh, so it's certainly being able, being flexible and being able to play keyboards or guitar or both uh, adds to your employment opportunities. So uh, what I'm playing tonight for this gig is a uh, lower arch top. It's uh, based on a 1920s model uh, Gibson L5. Uh, it's a solid carved spruce top, uh, probably pressed back and sides, I don't know. It's fairly inexpensive, but it gets the job done rather nicely. And if you set the strings high uh, and uh, hit it like it owes you last uh, month's rent, then uh, you can get a pretty good uh, Freddie Green kind of sound out of it. So that's, uh, that's the rig for tonight, and uh, I guess when I get back, we'll find out how well that all went. Uh, so until next time on the Woodwind Doubling Channel, uh, if, again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section below. Uh, and uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and hit the bell so that you'll get notifications whenever I post new videos to the channel. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.